here's the way how you can install flight gear on your Windows PC. Install flight gear, uh, add planes and new maps or locations or airports, whatever you want to call it. I'll cover all of that in this video. First thing what we need to do is to get flight gear. But before we get flight gear, make sure that your system is capable of running this game. It's not the lightest game to run, so look at the system requirements and if your PC can run it, then let's download it. Okay. To download Flight Gear, you should go to flightgear.org, the official website, press download. It will redirect us to SourceForge website. And uh, we're gonna and it's gonna let us download and install our XF file. Okay. Let's cancel it. I already have it. Okay, here's the installer file and install it. It's an open source project, so they won't be scamming you. It's free and open source. Okay, after you download it, we can you will get this shortcut. And if you double click it, it's gonna start flight gear. And uh, you can select the plane and uh, uh, fly in the uh, location it already has installed. As you can see, I already added a new aircraft, A-10, and uh, I'm going to show you how you can add aircraft first, and then I'm going to show you how you can uh, add a new map or location to your flight gear installation. For that, we should go to flightgear.org, official website, select uh, download flight gear, and for planes you're gonna select download aircraft for maps you're gonna select download scenario okay as you can see flight gear has a filter that what kind of plane you will accept the lower the value is the more replace it shows but the less the quality of a plane so you will see it's very self-explanatory okay Let's leave it like this and let's download the plane. Let's download uh, this plane. And then these are some errors. And uh, let's download it. If one doesn't work, the uh, other ones should. Okay. Let's save it on the desktop and uh, let's uh, search this plane on the Flight Gear Wiki page. Why do we do this? Because as you understand, this is a simulator game and uh, all planes are different. So this will give us the understanding what is the different and how to play or fly that plane. Okay, uh, it doesn't show the specific uh, keyboard short uh, keyboard uh, controls for this plane. So we should, when we start the game, we should press help and uh, see the aircraft help page in the game okay let's let's so let's close this and let's install our uh, not install let's add our plane to flight gear for this we should go to flight gear main page if you don't know where you install it you're gonna do this properties open open file location cancel and select flight gear main folder now select data and select aircrafts aircraft and this is where you're gonna put your new plane in okay let's extract this and let's paste it here don't paste it inside of any folder it should be in this main in this directory okay as you can see it added this and when we're gonna start flight gear it's gonna uh, show the new plane in game okay here, here it is. Now, while it's loading, we can download this now. We can delete this. We don't need this anymore. Okay, while it's loading, uh, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna download a new map, a new map or level or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it may doesn't have a preview. And it is as a plane to open. What plane we had is this plane? Did I see? 
close. Okay, which might be that this plane does it just doesn't have a preview and it can still work. Let's test it. These are different locations we have installed. Let's select this and let's start the game. Let's see if the game is start, start or not. As you can see, we managed to add this plane. This was the plane we wanted to add and this is the plane we added. And for help, we can press help. Aircraft help. It will show you as the control, specific control keys to this plane. Okay, now let's add a different location to flight gear. Okay, let's close this now. And let's download a new map or scenario or whatever. We are gonna select uh, downloads and scenery. Here we can see, we can download the full world map. Uh -oh. This will be all the world airports and the world in general. If you want, don't want to download it, you can uh, order a DVD. It will cost, I, I believe it costs some money, but it helps out the project. But if you just want to download a certain location, you're gonna download it from here. Uh, where was it? Graphical interface. All of these squares are the locations that you would gonna put it. So let's download Australia part of an Australia let's save it okay while it's downloading I'm gonna show you where you're gonna place it go to main folder of your flight gear data and so there will be scenario scenario and you're gonna just drag and drop uh, files from this folder this archive to this folder and the in most of the archives there will be objects and terrain and in some of them you're gonna find the airports as well as you can finish, see it finished downloading we don't need this anymore let's open this archive and okay let's open this archive and as you can see says so there is terrain let's drag and drop and we're gonna drag and drop to objects later. Now let's drag and drop objects. And let's start the game. We don't need this anymore. Let's start the game. We don't need this anymore as well. Okay. Close this next and if your airports do not uh, appear from the start you're gonna press refresh here and they should load let's press refresh and they should load new airports okay let's see as you can see it's loaded airports and you're gonna select the airport wherever you want and you're gonna uh, start the game press next but if it I didn't show you the airport where you want it to you can manually enter the airport coordinates from here here, here you can manually enter the coordinates from here okay thank you for watching hope it was helpful